Citizens and state leaders from every corner of the globe bowing their heads today in mourning over the late Soviet president Mikhail Gorbachev, who passed away Tuesday night at age 91. But Jewish organizations are eulogizing the late leader not only for lifting the Iron Curtain and seeing an end to the Cold War, but for his opposition to anti-Semitism in the USSR, as well as his support for Soviet Jews to freely practice their religion and even emigrate. In 1991, Gorbachev famously condemning the venomous sprouts of anti-Semitism that arose in Soviet soil, adding that the Stalin regime heavily used anti-Semitism as a means to isolate the country and strengthen its dictatorial position. But of course, much to Gorbachev's sorrow, millions of Jews indeed still left the USSR for the United States, Europe, and Israel. Of course, while most look back at his legacy favorably, there are those who blame him for many of the issues that the former Soviet countries still face today. In fact, Putin and Gorbachev famously at odds in their outlook on the division of the USSR, particularly amidst the onset of the invasion of Ukraine. Gorbachev's biographer, Professor William Taubman, saying that his goal was to make Russia the kind of place where Westerners would have wanted to live, but he failed. And many, particularly in Russia, blame him for the so-called regression of Russia in our time. It seemed to us back then that he was a person who could change the Soviet Union for the better. But then, when his time was coming to an end, it turned out that he was a person who broke up the Soviet Union, broke up a vast country, which led to a large number of wars and civil unrest in the former Soviet republics, between the people of the Soviet Union. That is why I don't have a high opinion of him now, of his life journey and his achievements. Well, Mikhail Gorbachev, uh sent a wind of freedom into Russian society. He tried to change the communist system from inside, which uh, became impossible. And he started an era of cooperation with the West, stopping the Cold War. And happily, the, the hopes has vanished. Still, the good far outweighing the bad. Gorbachev's policies of supporting openness, free speech, and restructuring forever changing the lives of millions for the better.